Dude, what, what is that? What? What is that? What the heck is that? Enema givers of the Seven Seas, welcome back to another Loki Reviews video. We're back with another Spooky Our Sunday Ghost video! Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> I like the way in the Gmail before I got that video, there was some text above the download that said, I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, let's look at last week's video to see what kind of suggestions we have, shall we? Lego. KPLP, please take a look at these rake footage. These rake footage. <laughs> I would say they look pretty real. All right, then we haven't seen a rake in a while, mate. Real life incidences, the rake sightings. People that don't know who rake is, it basically looks like a meth head that's always found in a forest. Kind of like the grey aliens. <laughs> the Cannibals of the forest. Viewer discretion is advised. Since the 9th of November, did the YouTube channel Sandman6100 make videos about the rake? I don't think this guy's English. Ben. <laughs> That's his channel name. Ben. It are only a few videos. I'm not reading this. You can't even make out what he means by it. Flashlight. Get a flashlight. Oh, it isn't all rake sightings by Australians. Someone just growled at you. You can't call that a sighting. Is that the, the sighting? Just pitch blackness, someone going rawr, and then him legging it. Was that rake, mate? Did rake just rawr at you? <laughs> would that scare you? <laughs> like, maybe the first time it would make you jump. It would be like, rawr. Oh, fucking hell. You'd run a little bit, but if you continue to run and continue to hear someone behind you going rawr, in the end, I think I'll just turn around and go, ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> so I hit him. Footage two. Y'all? <laughs> Some fat kid's broken the trampoline. trampoline. Oh, he's not even fat. That's just really shit. Your brother, friend, cousin, he's inside. Your brother's friend's cousin. Proper trailer trash shit. Just out here on trampoline. You're not out on the trampoline. You're in the trampoline. <laughs> Dude, what, what is that? What? Dude, what is that? What's that, Jim Bob? Fucking pig. I don't know. It's one of your friends. It's it's Rake, apparently. <laughs> yeah, we're... Oh, oh God! Just... Is that rakes like what rakes uh, is supposed to sound like? Is it like in the stories and shit? Rake slowly creeps out of the woods, and then with a bellowing breath, he goes. <laughs> Jim Bob, I'm pretty sure you got a shotgun on you. Take the oh, shot. It's coming! It's coming! Run! Run! You don't seem scared in the slightest. I'm pretty sure that rake is your friend. Oh, God, Jesus, help me. <laughs> and they're laughing. So <laughs> this young going inside. Far too young, go inside, okay. Let's go outside. Oh god, it's the same kid. I'm guessing this is all Ben. It's got 1,500 dislikes. Uh, you, you guys doing all of the sightings, is it? Is that why Rake always sounds the same? It's the same friend that's being him. We haven't made a Rake video in a while. Get Billy round here to dress up like Rake again and just film him going while we badly act ourselves running away. Oh no, they've used that YouTube wants to fix your shaky camera option. Where's Rake going to be hiding this time? Is he in the barn? Oh, there's Rake. Being a twat over there. Spit dang again. There he is again. There's your broken trampoline. <laughs> the dog's seen him. I laugh if, like, the dog just runs up thinking it's a proper predator and just, like, just mauls his friend to fuck. He's like, no, no, we were just kidding. We're just trying to make a few bucks on the YouTubes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the dog's not that threatened by him because he knows him. Like, I think him and Rake hang out a little bit. He doesn't seem... Oh, even the cameraman's got bored. Come on, Rake, take your time. You can hear his friend trying not to laugh. I... Boy, Rake. Off he goes. God, he can't even hold the fucking camera still. You know what it is. We're gonna find out. Are you gonna go find out? You... Fucking hell, they're going in. Alright, quit, quit playing around. Yeah, quit playing around. Where's Rake? There he is. How come you can never get up close oh, to him? Crap. Oh, she's coming for you. Run away. Oh, crap, dude. It's coming, man. It's coming. Look, mate, if you don't want to make a Rake video, just don't make one, like, if you're not in the mood. <laughs> he can't even be asked to act. He's just like, hey, here it comes. Ah. <laughs> XJ40 Pro. Dad films ghost playing on playground swing in Rhode Island. A ghost playing on a swing. It must be a, a kid ghost then. Saying that, everyone likes a good swing game now and again. Send it to some weird universe documentary. Fucking hell, 20 seconds of intro. <laughs> hey there. This is real, look at this. You, you, this is real. <laughs> no wind, look at the other swings. Oh, hang on. The other swings don't look like a fucking car seat, mate. They're not going to have much wind resistance, you know? Plus, that one's moving. That one's moving a little bit. Someone pushed it. 
Where would they go? They could be hiding behind these bushes here. That, that pretty much looks like either someone pushed it and legged it. Maybe dad here. Or it's just the wind. There's no wind right now. How do we know there's no wind? The other ones are moving. Look, just not as much. Someone could have easily hidden behind that bush. <laughs> No, I think he's just trying to like, maybe he couldn't be asked to get out the car, so he just pretended there's a ghost on the swing so he didn't have to take his kids on it. Viddles, hey Loki, or should I call you Loki? I'd call me Loki, mate. <laughs> I got a convincing ghost video and it was uploaded recently. Oh, it's brand new, is it? Well now, proper HD shit. Ghost caught on dash cam, question mark. Ah, uh, this may be clickbait. Oh, by the dislike and like ratio though. I don't think it is. Where is it? Is it like a, a ghost jogger or some shit? Where did it go? Where did what go? Yeah, it was like a wheelchair or some shit. What the fuck is that? You can't do the video if you saw it, but the camera didn't. <laughs> that doesn't fly well. I saw it too. <laughs> Uh, your girlfriend seems a bit nervous, mate. Are you going to show like a replay? Because I didn't see fuck all it. I don't see any then. Where are we looking? There's nothing there. <laughs> uh, this car? You seriously like, I know sometimes people do videos and they circle it and you're just like, oh really? You didn't need to circle that. But this, you need to circle this. I don't see fuck all. <laughs> oh, I see. It's behind that car. Yeah, it comes up to this stop sign here. Yeah, it's like a lot. I think that's just a reflection, isn't it? Isn't that just like a reflection of a car's lights against that car there? Yeah, there it is. There's the lights. Oh, yeah, and they sort of go behind it. Oh, you put the circle in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that is strange, that. The only thing I can think of is that it's a reflection of some kind by the way it moved, but I don't know. Random stuff. This video is so intense and creepy. Please watch this. You are my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. Also, this video makes you want to regret watching it. Sounds pretty cool. Bless up. Watch till the end, please. You won't regret it. It's the best part. Abandoned haunted house. Knives found inside. Okay. Usof Amadi. Oh no, that fucking sound effect. Really? Does every single ghost channel do that effect? Jump down, Alex. Jump down, Alex. Oh no, it's not. Are these the guys that do the my mum's live? <laughs> I think this is the new thing, isn't it? At like first it was gaming channels, then it was reaction channels, and then like the new phase is exploring places that aren't haunted, but you can make them look creepy if you shout a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with the same sound effects. Is this the one that does the Oc TV intros? No, it's not. He just likes clapping every five seconds. I believe what happened last time. That was a hundred percent real. <laughs> Definitely Oc TV. It's hundred percent real, guys. All right, guys. It's not. You couldn't easily fake it. That's for sure. Why do these guys all explore abandoned places in the day? <laughs> easy views, guys. Easy views. One million likes. We'll do episode two. Oh shit! I think this is episode two, isn't it? <laughs> Let's explore abandoned crack houses <laughs> and just hope that we don't get attacked by crackheads. There is an element of danger during these. videos. Videos. Why is it always English Indian dudes that do these? This is where I fell. You fell? Might have to watch part one and take the piss. As you can see, everyone's scared of it. Everyone, what? Everyone's scared of that bit. Is it because it's dark in there? And that guy was right there. And oh, there's a guy, is it? Where that hand came out from. And the hand came out. See, everyone's scared of it. Fucking hell, really? <laughs> These channels are a joke. Oh, fuck. Did you catch that on tape? Along with the hand. Mate, it probably is. You're exploring crack houses. What do you expect? You're going to bump into people that are in there. Mainly crackheads or homeless people. Or both. Well, yeah. I was scary shit. <laughs> he scared the shit out of you. He's probably just like a bloke just woken up. And you're like, ah, fucking hell. He's like, ah, stop screaming. I'm trying to sleep in here, lads. This is my home. Doctor's in here. No crackheads. <laughs> no crackheads? That's because it's not night time. They're all out, like, searching through bins and shit. What, Fucking hell. This little guy's a daredevil. Yeah, he's just parkour expert, this bloke. No stairs. We'll have to create our own. Create our own? You're not, you're just pulling yourself up. <laughs> Creating your own would be like putting planks of wood there, like Bear grills. You kick that and I kick this shit. Yeah. Build up. <laughs> Kick down the door. Yeah, it's definitely a crackhead's place. So basically, you got scared from a crackhead in the previous episode. If someone's in it, that's how you get stabbed, bro. Yeah, well, I'd stab someone kicking down my door, too. The There's a hamster in there and everything. Yeah, got chewing gum, man. You got chewing gum. Really? You're going to steal someone's chewing gum? This one's got a stick. So just in case they do find a crackhead in there, you know what they're going to do? Beat him to fucking death with the stick for breaking into his house. So these exploring channels, 99% of them are UK Indian dudes, go around breaking into 
into poor homeless people's like houses that they've created and beating them up with sticks <laughs> thinking they're ghosts. Well done lads. If I look shiny today it's because I'm still hungover as fuck. I had too many cigarettes at the wedding so probably why I've got more of a manly voice today than I normally do. No. Build up. Look how many of them there are. Oh, fucking hell, quick, run away. Why are you guys running? Fucking hell. How old are these blokes? Like, some of them got beards and shit. They threw glass at me, fam. They threw glass at you. We're not talking about regular people. These all stab you for 10p, bro. These are crackheads. They don't care. What's the best way to stop that from it happening? Oh, no. Don't break into their houses. <laughs> Start filming them and shit. Yeah, there's a crackhead. Yeah. Being a crackhead. There he is. Looking out to see what the fuck's going on in here. Fucking hell. You're an idiot going up there. Look how high that is. If a crackhead barges out, you're going to fall off of there. They're going back in to torment the crackhead again. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? It's a bit like that bomb fight, remember? Remember that bomb fight where people used to, like, pick on homeless people and, like, film it and shit and then get loads of views off of it? Basically the same thing. Please don't die. My mom's life. Hello. <laughs> he came out, they did a sound effect to make him look more scary. It's just an old man, like, what the fuck are you doing in my house? We brought food. We brought food. Why are you saying it, bro? So he calms, the fuck down. So he calms down. <laughs> Let's torment this poor bloke. And then when he comes out, he's a bit pissed off. Just bribe him with food that we haven't even got. <laughs> oh, you're not living here? No, no. Well, fucking hell, she's approaching. Is she like a prostitute or something? No. Why are you there? You look very well dressed to be a homeless crackhead. I'm not living here. You're not living there? I don't know about that. Oh, he comes out. He's awoken. Digging up something around the corner. <laughs> so I'm gonna cave these fuckers' heads in. Yeah, he better run, motherfuckers. Going. You're going to die. It is. It reminds me so much of Op TV. Now they're doing the bit that Op TV does where they're like, it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> and they try and take it out on the people that they've just tormented. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing, he's like, you're gonna get stabbed up, mate, I'm not letting you down. And decides to troll us in a moment, we could we could probably die. Uh, well, he teach you from going in there. Yeah, you can go for the Can you take us? Oh, fine, yeah, she's gonna stab you up. She tries to trick us. No, we like danger, it's alright. I'm pretty sure she was just like, no, it's alright, seriously, look, you can just go down there. They're so paranoid now. They're like, fucking hell, she's gonna stab us. Where'd the bloke go with the stick? Fucking hell, there he is. We took the stairs, they would have been waiting. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're so paranoid. Oh, oh no, yeah, there they are. They live there. Have you enjoyed it? It's a white guy. It's a bit like the W2S con. <laughs> anyway, this live stream that's just gone, I got a um, pretty big donation from someone that was like, you better do another um, real life experience story on Spooky Hour Sundays. I was like, I've got a couple left. I was trying to like, spread them out a bit, but he donated quite a bit of money on my um, my live stream and said, is this going to help you like decide whether you're going to do one? I was like, I think I'll do one for you. <laughs> to say thank you for the donations. Here's another one of Loki's real life experiences. Let's set the mood, shall we? Fuck this burnt my hand. <laughs> right, so this is a story about one of the most haunted places in Guernsey, apparently. Guernsey's where I live, if you don't know. The name is Foke Valley. Now, I can't really remember the backstory to this place, but I think it had something to do with where the medieval dudes used to take their dead. It's basically a valley with, obviously, Foke Valley. <laughs> and it goes through this woods that looks a lot like the Blair Witch Project. And uh, it goes for a while until it gets to the other end where the um, there's a road. Now, there's something to do in the, the legend of a stagecoach with um, a dude with, I can't remember if he, I think he had a head, <laughs> but he was all in black and shit. And apparently, if you saw this uh, man with the stagecoach, you would die. Now, I can't remember anyone saying that they've seen them, but that's probably because the people that have have died. A lot of people have said that they've heard the um, stagecoach in some way, or maybe the man as well, the little driver. And um, I don't think you die if you hear him, I think it's only if you see him. But we went quite a few times, mainly on Halloween. I'll tell you about the first time I went. I went with my cousin, and I think it was my mother. This was when I was a teenager, and we used to go ghost hunting quite a lot. We didn't run away like ghost adventures did. We kind of tried to investigate a little bit and then run away. So we um we drove to the entrance of this place and you can't drive up there anymore because kids used to like take the piss quite a bit, do a load of pranks up there. So they stop people from driving down. So you have to stop at the end of the track and get out and walk. It was Halloween, but it wasn't that cold. It was kind of like a, a nice warm evening. But as soon as you got to that point where the um, there's like an archway of trees, as soon as you get to the start of the track, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's because there's wind coming up the valley or what, but it's completely calm until you get just through the entrance bit. It must drop at least six or seven degrees. It's, it, it dropped enough temperature to for you to be able to see steam coming out your mouth. So 
it dropped quite a lot. It was like ice cold all of a sudden as soon as you get into it, which is creepy enough as it is. We were a bit shit scared after that, but we decided to continue. Now, we've never walked the whole way through this. We have in the day, but in the night, we only get probably about a quarter of the way through before something fucking weird happens. We were walking through, kind of hearing a few cracks and shit in the, uh, the woods now and again. Started freaking ourselves out a little bit, going, oh, fucking hell, what's that? And then we must have got three minutes down, probably not even a quarter of the way down there. We heard like this, <clears throat> in the bushes. We were like, was that a bull or something? Completely shit ourselves and decided to turn back and start walking back. As we turned around to start walking back, there was a giant gust of wind. Now, this there was no wind whatsoever that night, but maybe it's just a gust of wind coming over the cliffs and up the valley, I don't know, but all of a sudden, huge gust of wind came down, like blew our hoods down and shit, all leaves, dried leaves flying past, like proper sort of wind blow, and um, yeah, it got even colder, and we were like, what the fuck, and we must have stood there for about three minutes, we didn't say anything, we just sort of looked at each other, it felt like about three minutes, just like this, not saying anything, and then all of a sudden, we heard a horse, now, this place is surrounded with, like, fields and shit, but, um, we don't know of any farm around that area, not that I can think of, plus most of the fields around there are quite a ways away, and I think they're kind of, like, marshy, so you can't really put animals in the fields. Maybe I'm mistaken, maybe there was a horse hiding behind the trees or some shit that we didn't see, but, yeah, we heard that and we were just sort of, like, just looked at each other and started walking, and then all of a sudden we heard sort of, like, horse feet on the, uh, dried leaves at that point we were like oh fucking hell we just legged it got back to the car now this is the weirdest part we got back to the car with all the hairs on the back of our neck like the shoulders go up to the ears the hairs come up at the back of the neck got back to the car this has happened to quite a few people got in the car car wouldn't fucking start we, we were just like uh, uh, uh oh <laughs> this is where it started getting creepy because i know about five people that have gone there each time they've gone there they've come out after hearing something and their car don't start. Now, it's a bit of a coincidence. Fuck's sakes. Yeah, it's a bit of a high coincidence that five people with five different cars all had the starting car problem. <laughs> well, like, when they heard something and tried getting away. In the end, we started, like, I think me and my cousin got out and started pushing it backwards, pushing the car backwards, going, oh, please, nothing touched the back of our neck. As soon as we pushed the car out of the actual area itself, car started straight away. <laughs> we all just jumped in, and we fucking flew off at six million miles an hour. There we go, there was my story. Hopefully you enjoyed. My voice is cracked. Another spooky, real life story of Loki's experiences story. Anyway, make sure to follow me on all these stalk sites on the side if you haven't yet, and make sure to like and share this video if you give an eensy teensy, wincy little bit of shit about Foke Valley. There's a Talbot Valley as well, but I don't think that one's as haunted. Peace out. Oh god, is that rakes like what rakes uh, is supposed to sound like is it like in the stories and shit rake slowly creeps out of the woods and then with a bellowing breath he goes <laughs> Jim Bob I'm pretty sure you got a shotgun on you Take the shot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. 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 You don't seem scared in the slightest. I'm pretty sure that rake is your friend. Oh God, it, help me. <laughs> and they're laughing. <laughs> Far too young go inside. Far too young go inside. Okay. Let's go outside. Oh God, it's the same kid. I'm guessing this is all Ben. It's got 1,500 dislikes. Uh, you, you, you guys oh. doing all of the sightings? Is it? Is that why Rake always sounds the same? It's the same friend that's being him. We haven't made a rake video in a while. Get Billy round here to dress up like Rake again and just film him going Rrr! while we badly act ourselves running away. Oh no, they've used that YouTube wants to fix your shaky camera option. Where's Rake gonna be hiding this time? Is he in the barn? Oh, there's Rake being a twat over there. But then again. There he is again. There's your brother. That's his channel name, Ben. It are only a few videos. I'm not reading this. You can't even make out what he means by it. Flashlight. Get a flashlight. Oh, it isn't all rake sightings by Australians. 
Someone just growled at you. You can't call that a sighting. Is that the, the sighting? Just pitch blackness, someone going rawr, and then him legging it. Was that Rake, mate? Did Rake just rawr at you? <laughs> Would that scare you? <laughs> like, maybe the first time it'd make you jump. And like, rawr, oh, fucking hell. And you'd run a little bit. But if you continue to run and continue to hear someone behind you going, rawr, in the end, I think I'll just turn around and go, ah, fuck off. So I hit him. Footage two. Y'all? <laughs> Some fat kid's broken the trampoline. Oh, he's not even fat. That's just really shit. Your brother, friend, cousin, he's inside. Your brother's friend's cousin. Proper trailer trash shit. Just out here on trampoline. You're not out on the trampoline. You're in the trampoline. <laughs> Dude, what, what is that? What? Dude, what is that? What's that, Jim Bob? Fucking pig. You know, it's one of your friends. It's it's Rake, apparently. <laughs> Dude, I think the tag is coming a little bit closer. Yeah, we're... Um, <laughs> broken trampoline. <laughs> The dog's seen him. I laugh if, like, the dog just runs up thinking it's a proper predator and just, like, just mauls his friend to fuck. He's like, no, no, we were just kidding. We're just trying to make a few bucks on the YouTubes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the dog's not that threatened by him because he knows him. Like, I think him and Ray hang out a little bit. He doesn't seem... Oh, even the cameraman's got bored. Come on, Ray, take your time. You can hear his friend trying not to laugh. <laughs> I... Boy, Ray. Off he goes. God, he can't even hold the fucking camera still. You know what it is. We're gonna find out. Are you gonna go find out? Fucking hell, they're going in. Alright, quit, quit playing around. Yeah, quit playing around. Where's Rake? There he is. How come you can never get up close oh, to him? Crap. Oh, shit, he's coming for you. Run away. Oh, crap, dude. It's coming, man. It's coming. Look, mate, if you don't want to make a Rake video, just don't make one, like, if you're not in the mood. <laughs> he can't even be asked to act. He's just like, hey, here it comes. Ah. <laughs> XJ40 Pro. Dad films ghost playing on playground swing in Rhode Island. The ghost playing on a swing. It must be a, a kid ghost then. Saying that, everyone likes a good swing game now and again. Send it to some weird universe documentary. Fucking hell, 20 seconds of intro. <laughs> hey there. This is real, look at this. Yeah, this is real. <laughs> no wind, look at the other swings. Oh, hang on. The other swings don't look like a fucking car seat, mate. They're not going to have much wind resistance, you know? Plus, that one's moving. That one's moving a little bit. Someone pushed it. Just went away. Where would they go? Where would they go? They could be hiding behind these bushes here. That, that pretty much looks like either someone pushed it and legged it. Maybe dad here. Or oh, it's just the wind. There's no wind right now. How do we know there's no wind? The other ones are moving. Look, just not as much. Someone could have easily hidden behind that bush. <laughs> No, I think he's just trying to like, maybe he couldn't be asked to get out the car, so he just pretended there's a ghost on the swing, so he didn't have to take his kids on it. Vittles, hey Loki, or should I call you Loki? I'd call me Loki, mate. <laughs> I got a convincing ghost video, and it was uploaded recently. Oh, it's brand new, is it? Well, now, proper HD shit. Ghost caught on dash cam, question mark. Ah, uh, this may be clickbait. Oh, by the dislike and like ratio, though. I don't think it is. Where is it? Is it like a, a ghost jogger or some shit? Dude, what is that? What? What is that? What the heck is that? Enema givers of the 7Cs, welcome back to another Loki Reviews video. We're back with another... Spooky our Sunday Ghost video! Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> I like the way in the Gmail before I got that video, there was some text above the download that said, I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, let's look at last week's video to see what kind of suggestions we have, shall we? Lego. KPLP, please take a look at these rake footage. These rake footage. <laughs> I would say they look pretty real. All right, then we haven't seen a rake in a while, mate. Real life incidences, the rake sightings. People that don't know who rake is, it basically looks like a method that's always found in a forest. Kind of like the grey aliens. <laughs> the Cannibals of the forest. Viewer discretion is advised. Since the 9th of November, did the YouTube channel Sandman6100 make videos about the rake? I don't think this guy's English. Ben. 